Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Hyundai Mobis Driver Assist System, or DOS Car. Hyundai Mobis is a company which has dedicated its full capacity to develop and manufacture cutting edge automotive parts. Hyundai Mobis is increasing its influence in the automotive parts industry through superior quality and technology. The DOS Car here well represents the latest systems and technologies that we're working on regarding driver assistance technologies. Right now, I'm going to show you seven different DOS features and the parts that are working together to perform the job. According to NHTSA, 37% of all transportation fatalities in the USA are caused by running off the road. The Lane Keeping Assist System, or LKAS, is one of the driver assist systems which is designed to prevent unintended lane departure due to the driver's drowsiness or inattentiveness using automatic steering support. LKAS is a feature that in addition to the lane departure warning system, automatically takes steps to ensure the vehicle stays in its lane. The LKAS mechanism can either reactively turn a vehicle back into the lane if it starts to drift, or proactively keep the vehicle inside its lane. The camera recognizes the road structure and controls the electronic power steering based on the car's driving situation. This function may not activate depending on factors such as the condition of the lane and the speed of the vehicle due to the road environment and driving conditions. Also, hands-off detection helps to avoid misuse cases of the system. For safety reasons, LKAS can easily be overridden by the driver at any time. The Smart Cruise Control, or SCC system, is a representative driver comfort system that allows following the frontal vehicle and cruising at the driver's set speed through an automated acceleration and deceleration process. The SCC system is comprised of radar, a camera sensor, a controller, and a brake actuator. The radar sensor detects frontal reflectable objects and the camera sensor recognizes vehicles. When operating the SCC system, if there is no frontal vehicle, the host vehicle keeps its set speed. When a frontal vehicle is detected, the host vehicle is controlled to maintain the selected distance from the frontal vehicle using following control, or FC. During FC, when the frontal vehicle is stopped, the host vehicle is controlled to stop to maintain the selected distance. If the stopped frontal vehicle starts to move, the host vehicle is controlled to move forward following the frontal vehicle. The purpose of the SCC system is to provide comfort to the driver, especially for long distance traveling and potentially reduce collisions with frontal vehicles caused by a driver's inattentiveness. The Autonomous Emergency Braking System, or AEB, is a representative active safety system that aids to avoid a vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle crash and or vehicle-to-pedestrian crash and mitigate impact damage in emergency situations. This system is comprised of radar, a camera sensor, a controller, and a brake actuator. The radar sensor detects frontal reflectable objects and the camera sensor recognizes vehicles and pedestrians. In addition, the controller acquires object data and surrounding information from the sensors to evaluate the criticality of the crash. Based on processing and situational analysis, the controller generates warning and braking commands by criticality stages. Finally, the braking actuator generates a braking force and thus the host vehicle reduces vehicle speed. The AEB system data from the radar and camera sensors are fused and classified as a forward vehicle or pedestrian. Criticality of a crash is monitored and warning information is provided to the driver. After the collision warning, if there's no brake maneuver by the driver, the AEB system performs full braking by stages to avoid a crash or to mitigate an impact. When the driver tries to brake, the AEB system supports the braking by generating additional brake force. It is expected that the AEB system will dramatically decrease the number of accidents caused by drivers' inattentiveness against vehicles and pedestrians. The Active Blind Spot Detection, or VSD system, is a driving assistance system that prevents collision accidents using radar and camera sensors when the driver wants to change lanes. The Active VSD system is comprised of a camera sensor, 
a radar, integration ECU, and ESC. The camera sensor sends the lane change information to the integration ECU. The radar sensor detects rearward vehicles approaching the subject vehicle and sends this information to the integration ECU. The integration ECU then calculates the amount of differential braking with the camera radar fusion information and sends the braking value to ESC. Then, the ESC controls the brakes using this value and enables the subject vehicle to prevent a collision accident. It is expected that the active BSD system will reduce collision accidents with vehicles approaching from behind. The matrix headlights are one of the high beam technologies using multiple LED sources which can provide various beam patterns suitable for a variety of road conditions using selective LED control. It can also improve driver safety because it operates a high beam with a wide beam pattern. In addition, this camera-based technology optimizes light illumination when passing or crossing cars as well as pedestrians on the road to block the glare. It consists of 25 LED sources and creates various beam patterns by switching individual LEDs on and off or dimming them to suit the situation. Hyundai Mobis is developing matrix beam headlights to satisfy higher performance. During night driving, matrix beam technology can improve driving safety from high beam provided wide visibility. It can also make a dark zone for oncoming and proceeding vehicles and pedestrians to block the glare using a selective LED turn-off system. Mobis is developing a cross-traffic assist system to support the driver by controlling the brakes and steering when the risk of a collision occurs at an intersection. The system includes both front and side radars along with a front camera. V2X sensors are additionally applied to extend perception. The acquired data, including obstacles detected, lane information, V2X information from other vehicles and traffic lights are sent to the ECUs. The ECU evaluates collision risk by fusing and tracking the objects, then computes collision avoiding control commands, which are fed into the ESC and MDPS. Basically, the algorithm is broken down into four steps. First, sensor fusion of board objects. Second, target selection. Third, collision risk assessment. And fourth, control. The target selection criteria includes recognition of the driving situation and a driver's attention. The last step is implemented by producing a control required by each system and distributing control functionality of the overall system and then actuating braking and steering. Smart Parking Assist System, or remote SPAS, can improve the ease of parking for novice drivers, the elderly, and disabled persons by automating the entire process. Furthermore, it allows drivers to remotely park in and out of narrow parking spaces using a remote control. This system supports parallel parking and park out, perpendicular parking, background scanning of parking spaces, and a remote control. The remote SPAS detects parking spaces automatically when the vehicle is moving at a speed of less than 12.5 miles per hour. When the driver stops and presses the park assist switch, it displays available parking spaces to the driver. When the driver gets out of the vehicle after changing the gear to neutral, the system automatically parks into the space by moving back and forth. When parking is completed, the system sequentially sets the parking brake, turns off the engine, and locks the door. In the case of park out, after the driver commands park out using the smart key, the system turns on the engine, releases the parking brake, and directs the vehicle out of its parking space. The system then releases the door lock when park out is completed to allow the user to get in. I hope you've enjoyed learning about some of the Hyundai Mobis driver assist system technologies. If you'd like any more information, you can visit the desk and Stormy can scan your badge. Or if you'd like to speak with any of our product specialists, they're wearing the blue Hyundai Mobis lanyards. Thank you so much for listening. And if you just joined us and you wanted to catch the whole presentation, I'll be doing it again at 2 o'clock. Thank you so much and enjoy the rest of your time here at CES 2016.